So in this tutorial I would like to show you how to disassemble a CRT monitor, um, how to ventilate the tube and how to take it all apart safely. Okay, so before we do anything else, uh, we will uh, discharge the CRT. The CRT can be viewed as a um, high voltage capacitor, uh, which can store a considerable charge. We're going to get rid of that first. Um, you can see that the FIBEC has a connection to the CRT, and this is uh, where, uh, where the high voltage comes in. Uh, we will use a non-insulated screwdriver and a pair of crocodile clips, uh, which is attached to the screwdriver. We'll um, put one lead uh, to the uh, ground band that is uh, hung around the CRT. So basically we now have a grounded uh, screwdriver and we'll slide it uh, below uh, the rubber, uh, rubber insulator and touch the metal of uh, the flyback output. So now the CRT is discharged and uh, we can now safely remove um, this rubber clip. Okay, here we go. So uh, this is the output. Now the second step uh, will be to remove the PCB that connects to the tube itself. Um, the cathode ray tube uh, basically uh, s slides right into uh, a socket on the PCB and can be pulled straight off. So we're going to do that. Okay. So now you see the, the socket here um, is removed and the PCB is exposed. Um, I'm going to cut the wires that still go to the CRT. Okay, and the tube is completely free now. The tube still contains vacuum, and while if we just left it like that, this would not be a problem, uh, we will still vent the tube uh, to um, make sure that it's safe to operate. For this, I'm using a hammer that I've connected to a broomstick, and I'm going to hit it right here. I'm going to hit it right here, uh, to make the glass break and the tube evacuate. I am wearing eye protection and I'm using the broomstick uh, to keep my safe distance from the object. So here we go. That's it. Tubes vented. Here are the remains of the electron gun. Uh, I don't know if we are going to do anything with that. Um, the tube is now safe to operate, it will not implode uh, even if we drop a tool or anything on that. Now that the tube is vented, um, just out of curiosity, uh, we can take apart the electron gun to see what it's, um, what it's comprised of. So now uh, we've taken apart uh, 
the deflection unit. Um, this is basically a pair of magnets that can direct the electron beam. Since the tube is vented now, we are going to hit it with a hammer right here to make the rest of the electron gun fall out. Very nice piece. Now for the PCBs, those are usually very easy to take out. They're mounted with some screws. Uh, usually they just slide in. Uh, I'm going to take those out right now. Inside the TV, there are still some pieces left. Um, here is a speaker that I'm going to take out. The infrared circuit uh, is in the front and uh, some buttons. I'm just uh, unscrewing those and taking them all out. Okay, so here is a brief overview over the parts that we got. Um, here's uh, a small PCB that was uh, connected directly to the CRT. We are going to have a closer look at that. Um, the main PCB of the CRT, um, which includes uh, the flyback and some transistors. Here is an infrared decoding unit that was in the front, an LED. Um, the electron gun, which sadly broke in two pieces. The deflection circuit. I don't know how that is going to be useful, but maybe I'm going to find something that that can be used for. A small speaker, um, power switch, and uh, a line cable, an antenna. I didn't show how I took that out, but it was quite easy. It was just mounted to the casing. Okay, so here we have the main PCB. I'm going to briefly go over the components uh, that you can see here. Um, here you can see that the mains goes into the board. Um, then it passes through a PTC, which probably limits uh, the forward inrush current. So it's a forward inrush current limiter. Um, and you can, uh, when you use this part, also use it to build a soft start or forward uh, inrush current limiter. Um, here is probably uh, the main switch mode power supply. You can see the uh, primary capacitor which uh, looks uh, pretty pregnant already so it's it's got a big belly. This one's not going to last long. Um, here is the high voltage circuitry. You can see um, the HOT, the horizontal output transistor, right here. Usually this is a BU508 or something like that. And you can see, uh, of course, the flyback transformer. Uh, this is a, a quite small part for a small CRT. Then you see the circuitry, which is used for controlling the uh, TV stuff. It's not really that interesting. The tuner part, really not that interesting. Um, back here, also, um, some more MOSFETs or transistors, I can't tell from here. Um, probably used for uh, the uh, audio amplification in modern CRTs, or, well, yeah. Uh, modern C or more recent CRTs uh, have those completely integrated. Here is actually a NICAD battery, probably for restoring uh, program information and such. So this is the PCB that was connected directly to the cathode ray tube. You see three identical circuits, two resistors here, there, and there, always with a transistor. Those comprise the RGB unit so they um, steer how intense the electron beam is for the R, G and B channel of the beam. In more recent TVs uh, there is only one semiconductor which handles all three um, R, G and B together. This now is the electron gun that I sadly broke. Um, you can uh, see that there are three electron beams, one R, one G and one B. 
uh, that will hit the CRT when in operation. Um, you can see the design is that it goes through multiple of these stages. I don't really know exactly what they're for, but you can see that they there is one tunnel for each uh, R, G, and B. And here's uh, the beam deflection again. Uh, it's uh, got four leads, one for X and one for Y deflection, no doubt. Um, I don't really know what to do with that so far, but you know, you never know. So um, that's it for this video. Um, be safe, take care, bye.